What should you be eating at Disney's latest food festivals? We've got the best of the fest, along with some secret menu items that we couldn't wait to share with you here on DFB Guide. Let's win Disney Parks. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today we are going to take you over to the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival and the Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival, which opened back to back last week. And we've got the best of the fest for both of them for you, along with some awesome secret menu items. So let's get started rolling right into Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, which started on March 6th. So my favorite, favorite, favorite from this festival is the Violet Blueberry Vanilla Croissant Donut. Now, this is kind of unsurprising because I really do like cronuts, but honestly, the past few festivals, their cronut options have not been awesome. This one is incredible. I have now had it three times and the festival's only been open a week. So it is really phenomenal. Personally, I'm not really tasting too much violet. Um, and as far as I can tell, the blueberry is only really represented in that little blueberry on top. Although the glaze might have some slight blueberry flavor to it. In the middle is a vanilla custard, which they dollop all the way down through the cronut and up to the very top. So it's really, really good. But either way, it's super sweet on its own. Plus it's got that glaze on top. You're gonna love it, I really do think. And you can share it if you want to, but that just means you're gonna have to go back and get another one later that you eat all by yourself. And don't forget, you can get that one at Taste Track, which is over by Test Track. Next up, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. This one's perfect for the kiddos, but also I think you grown-ups are gonna like it too. This is the Mickey Tart Peanut Butter Mousse with Strawberry Jam and Boba Pearls at Flavorful Kitchen. So this is gonna be basically a peanut butter tart and it's not a super light peanut butter. It does have some substance to it. It is a thicker kind of peanut butter cream in there. And then on top is that sparkly strawberry jam and those boba pearls. We really don't feel like the boba pearls offer that much for the treat. Again, that's probably something that your kids are gonna like more, but there is a very strong peanut butter and jelly flavor here. It's really a fun one to share with your kids. Next up is also at Flavorful Kitchen, the Cookie Butter Worms in Dirt. Again, this is another great one for your kids, but frankly, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. So this is a Cookie Butter Worms in Dirt. I don't really know if it's supposed to be a drink or like a pudding. I ate it more like a pudding. I really don't think it is supposed to be a drink. And they've got, of course, Oreo cookie crumbles on top with those gummy worms. The flavor was really, really good. I don't love cookie butter, and this tasted more chocolatey than cookie butter to me, but there there was definitely a little something extra going on here. Normally, just a standard pudding would not end up on our best of the fest because it's too pedestrian, but I, I really liked this, so I wanted to add it in. Next up is the crispy citrus chicken with orange aioli and baby greens at Citrus Blossom. Now this is a new booth to the festival and it is also the booth that's gonna have the longest lines and we'll tell you about that in just a second. But the crispy citrus chicken, our taste testers thought was awesome. One of their favorites of the day. That orange aioli really gives out that lighter taste. And note also that this is not just a Disney World chicken nugget. There is an orange chicken on the menu over at the DCA Food and Wine Festival that is just Disney. Disney chicken nuggets with like an orange sauce on them. This is an actual higher end chicken option, I think for sure, which is why it landed on our best of the fest menu. All right, the thing that's causing all those long lines of the Citrus Blossom booth is this little guy, the orange cream slushy in the Souvenir Orange Bird Sipper Cup. Now we knew that the Orange Bird Sipper Cup was gonna be a big deal. Those of you who don't know who Orange Bird is, he is the character that was invented to represent the orange citrus grove farmers over at Sunshine Tree Terrace in Magic Kingdom when Magic Kingdom first opened. He's had a renaissance, a little resurgence in the past few years, and of course, Disney diehards like me love him. But now he's got his own sipper cup and you can also get that orange cream slushy inside it if you wait for the sipper cup. Now the lines on opening day were about 45 minutes long, maybe even a little bit longer, but he's super cute and probably worth it. Now the cream slush in this kind of tastes like orange Julius with a whole quart of half and half poured into it. So it is unbelievably sweet, unbelievably creamy, and a little bit too much for me, frankly, but I really did like the orange sunshine wine slushy that you can get at this citrus blossom booth. So I would say get the orange bird sipper cup, get them empty and get that orange sunshine wine slushy instead. 
Right across the way from Citrus Blossom is Refreshment Port. And of course, this is gonna be where you're gonna find a lot of poutine in Epcot. It has had poutine on the menu since January of last year, and they've got a new one for the festival. This is coffee rubbed pork poutine, and it has a ton of flavor. So you're gonna have that coffee rubbed pulled pork, which doesn't actually taste like coffee at all, so don't worry about that too much. There's just a lot of savory flavor with this one. And then it's on top of those french fries with that brown gravy, those cheddar cheese, curds and then they also have a corn relish on this one which gives a lot more texture to it so I love poutine you guys know that but I've also sort of become a little overloaded on poutine so you, you have to have a really good one to catch my eye these days and this one is delicious it is it was very very good so definitely on the best of the fest Next up over at Trowel and Trellis, another new festival booth, there's the grilled street corn corn on the cob with savory garlic spread. So this is going to be a fun street corn option. The first day they were getting kind of burned and kind of wonky, but we do think this is gonna be a guest favorite as the festival goes on, so we wanted to mention it for you for sure. Also at Trial and Trellis, there's the Bloomin' Blueberry Lemon and Ginger Tea. This one landed on our Best of the Fest because it was our taste testers' favorite at that booth and one of our favorite drinks around the whole festival. So this is a good one not to miss. Over at Jardin de Fiestas, the Tlacoyo was a big winner with our taste testers. This is a blue corn masa topped with black bean spread, ground chorizo, queso fresco, and Mexican cream. Lots of fresh flavors, lots of savory flavors here, and so it really took us by surprise. Also at that booth, you've got that tres leches cake. Now, Mexico booths have done tres leches cakes multiple times for the festivals, but this one was a huge standout for us. Probably one of the best things we ate at the festival, probably some of our taste testers' number one option. Heading over to Lotus House, one of our taste testers voted this her favorite thing she ate all day. This was a Szechuan spicy red braised beef shank over rice. This is a huge portion, a little bit spicy, but not over the top. Definitely could turn into lunch for somebody because it's that substantial. Don't miss this. And at the same time, if you are at Lotus House, don't miss that cotton candy. We're going to talk about that in just a second. All right, over in the Germany area, the Bauern Market Farmer's Market, the toasted pretzel bread made our list again this year, and this is a return from last year. This one is pretzel bread topped with black forest ham and melted Gruyere cheese. I don't know how you're gonna get more German than that. I guess Gruyere is actually Swiss. It's got this great sort of melty creaminess underneath the cheese and the ham, so there's definitely extra special flavors to this particular dish. Over at Primavera Kitchen in Italy, the Zeppoli caught our eye this year. The whole booth was quite good, but the ricotta cheese fritters that are topped with powdered sugar, raspberry sauce, chocolate hazelnut drizzle, super good. Definitely a good dessert for your festival if you're kind of wandering on and trying different stuff from around the booths. And don't forget, you can get Zeppoli in Via Napoli as well. That's an option if you are not there during the festival or if you'd rather stop in for a table service meal. Then over to the Smokehouse, which of course is in the America Pavilion. The beef brisket burnt ends and smoked pork belly slider with garlic sausages, chorizo, cheddar fondue, and house-made pickle. This one was a new um, item last year, returning this year. Still excellent, so much flavor, and definitely shareable as well. Next up, we're going over to Japan to Hanami to get the chilled soba noodle salad. Now, this is a good one if you're looking for a lighter option at the festival. This has pan-seared tuna, wasabi dressing. So there's a little spiciness here, a lot of freshness and flavor going on, and definitely some of our taste testers' favorite of the day. Also at Hanami, we loved that Ichigo Sun Strawberry Lemonade Cocktail. One of our taste testers actually said, I could drink this all day long, so we wanted to be sure to let you know about that. Over at Taste of Marrakesh, the fried cauliflower with capers, garlic, parsley, and chili ranch sauce makes our list again this year. Of course, as you guys know, I love anything that's fried and served with a spicy aioli. I'm game, I'm down for that. Um, and this is really good. Now, don't forget this is a vegetarian dish because it's fried cauliflower. And there's also a little bit, maybe a few extra vitamins in this one because of the vegetables. So if your kids aren't real big on eating vegetables, they may be big on eating this. Over at the Honey Bistro, which is returning again this year, they've got that local wildflower honey mascarpone cheesecake. Really, really good one. Again, another good dessert as you're wandering through the festival. Another good way to end up your meal. Now, the Honey Bistro is over there right between World Showcase and Future World. So if you're headed out of the festival into Future World, that's a good stop for you there. 
And then of course that frozen desert violet lemonade. This one's been a favorite and an Instagram special for multiple years and it's back again now. It's a sweet tart drink, non-alcoholic, so good for the whole family. You can get it over at Pineapple Promenade. And the best, best, best of this particular fest is the Fleur de Lis booth. This is over in France. This year they brought back all the greats from last year. So you're definitely going to head over to that booth and give it a try. The chilled cucumber soup was a favorite of our taste testers. That goat cheese tart with caramelized onions is an awesome vegetarian option. The braised duck confit with tomatoes and olives on polenta, really killer, lots of savory flavor there. And then that chocolate macaron lollipop is so adorable. Really yummy, super sweet, but a good one for your Instagram feed for sure. And then of course, don't forget the La Vie and Rose frozen slushy, which has that Grey Goose vodka, Saint Germain, white and cranberry, you so good another France festival favorite for sure now a couple others we definitely want to tell you about really quickly on this festival that Chinese cotton candy at Lotus House it is huge you can get it multi-layered it's incredible to watch how they do it while all the different colors don't have different flavors they all pretty much taste like sugar we guarantee that there are going to be a lot of people stopping you on your way around the festival asking you where you got this so if you've got a kiddo in tow this is going to be their favorite thing at the festival for sure and then we also wanted to tell you quickly about the chocolate pudding terrarium at trowel and trellis this one just pretty much tastes like chocolate pudding like there's nothing special flavor wise it's got a little matcha on top but it looks super cute and interesting so definitely one to get if you are taking pictures so there's our favorites for the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. And now we're gonna head right over to the Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. We're gonna let you know our best of the fest over here. All right, let's get started over here with the Off the Cob booth. Now this one has always been a favorite since its debut and there are a couple of items here you've gotta get. First up, those incredible Esquite sweet corn nuggets with bacon lardon. Oh my goodness, so good. Those fried corn nuggets based with those huge bacon strips, a little bit of mayo, that lime, so much flavor here. Definitely a must do. And this is one of those ones that we get the first day as we're walking around the festival to make sure we get all the pictures, but we also buy it again later because it's that good. Also at Off the Cob this year is the shrimp boil tacos with andouille sausage and fresh corn. This is really fun. It's a shrimp boil basically in taco form, obviously. There's shrimp, sausage, so much flavor going on here. So absolutely try these if you get the chance. Next, we've got to talk about the mac and cheeses. There are two mac and cheeses on the menus. First up at Garlic Kissed, you're gonna get the creamy mac and cheese with garlic bread crumble. This is a very flavorful mac and cheese. They've got that garlic bread crumble on top, so you've got that garlic flavor. This is going to be the milder of the two macs and cheeses though. Although this one's great, this is gonna be for you if you don't like spicier things. Over at Peppers Caliente, you're gonna have that ghost pepper mac and cheese. This one does have some spiciness in the actual mac and cheese itself and it also has that chili cheese corn chip dust which is basically uh, chili cheese sort of Fritos crunched up on top which gives it even more flavor and even a little bit more spice so we thought this was a great dish not too much heat it, it's not as enough heat to sort of kick you in the throat if you know what I'm talking about but it does have a good amount of heat so be prepared for that so if you are a heat seeker go ahead and get the ghost pepper mac and cheese and if you're not if you're just looking for flavor, you're going to find that over at Garlic Kissed. All right, next thing to talk about is the Cluckadoodle Moo booth, which is hilarious name, but really good food. The Harris Ranch Grilled Beef Tenderloin Slider sort of migrated over here this year. This one's a favorite, it often sells out. So if you're looking for a good slider with some good flavors, head up this one. My favorite thing at this booth is gonna be the salt and vinegar Parmesan chicken wings again. These are so good. I look forward to these every year. They're huge chicken wings, lots of flavor, but not over the top. So they're not gonna be spicy, they're just gonna be flavorful. So definitely give these a try if you're a chicken wing fan like me. 
All right, now we're gonna talk about the Golden Dreams booth. This is a brand new booth this year, and this is the, the booth of the fest for us. We loved this booth. The only negative here is that because they're doing a lot of construction, they have moved the smoking section a little bit closer to this booth, so if you're not a fan of cigarette smoke, you're gonna have to take your food a little bit farther away because that smoking section's a really strong um, scent. Anyway, okay, Golden Dreams. First up, the deconstructed teriyaki chicken musubi with pineapple relish. This one is so much fun, so you know Subi's become like a really trendy option throughout Disneyland. We're seeing it pop up on multiple menus. So here you're gonna get that teriyaki chicken, the pineapple relish, and a few other flavors going on. Really good, definitely worth a try. Also over at the Golden Dreams booth is that Anaheim Chili Rayano dish with salsa verde. So good, so much cheesy flavor, and then that cool spice from the salsa verde. Really delicious, you guys definitely must try. And then one of my favorite favorites from this booth, that chocolate peanut caramel parfait. This one is basically a Snickers bar in a cup. It's so amazing. You are not going to believe it when you try it. It's a must do, especially if you are a sweets fan. Also at that booth, they have that cotton candy drink, which isn't anything special, but it's cute and fun for your kids if you guys are traveling with little ones. All right, now we're gonna head over to Nuts About Cheese, which is our second favorite booth of the festival. Nuts About Cheese will be where you're gonna get the soup at this particular festival. So the Fiscalini white cheddar lager soup served in that mini boudon sourdough bowl. Basically like they melted a whole bunch of heavy cream and cheese into a sourdough bread bowl. So what could possibly go wrong with that, right? It's so good, this sharp, sharp, strong cheese with that creaminess sort of tempering it. It's excellent. Also at this booth, the Ham and Vela Jack Cheese Pinwheel with smoked pistachios. This one is awesome. We heard about it even before we tried it. A lot of the cast members were telling us we needed to try it. It's a very strong flavor. That ham and the Jack Cheese both have very strong flavors. So if you're not into smoky flavors or smoky hams and things like that, that's this one's probably not for you, but it's definitely worth a try. Super savory, almost saturated flavor um, in this particular option. And then the pinwheel itself is a real flaky pastry. So this is just awesome. Over at Citrus Grove, we're gonna recommend that Meyer Lemon Ginger Mule again. This continues to be one of the most delicious drinks that we get at the festival. Definitely uh, a must do. And then new at Berry Patch was the Strawberry Float with Vanilla Ice Cream, Whipped Cream, and Crunchy Cereal, which AKA Captain Crunch. This one's super sweet. It's basically soft serve with almost a liquid strawberry jam poured over the top. That's really what it tastes like, is a fresh strawberry jam. So it's got a lot of sweetness to it, but also a lot of flavor. So this is a good one probably to share. A lot of people probably won't be able to drink this all by themselves. And we've got to mention those amazing pepperoni pizza egg rolls. You're gonna find these at the California Craft Brews booth. These are truly unbelievable. Such strong, intense flavor from the pepperoni pizza inside. And you've got that crispy, crunchy, a little bit greasy wrapper, which almost makes it better. Uh, we love these. These are a must get, and these are a get multiple times during the festival kind of dish. So good. Now remember, your big tip for the DCA Food and Wine Festival is going to be that you can order any booth item from any booth at any booth, which means if there's a super long line at the Craft Brews booth for the pizza rolls, you can actually go order them at a booth with a shorter line, get your receipt, and head over to the Craft Brews booth to pick them up. So you can skip that long line there. So be sure to use that tip, it's a good one. So those are our favorites over there at DCA at the Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. And we've had such a good time sharing these with you guys. Please let us know in the comments your favorites from the festivals. Um, let us know what your must-eats are. And of course, you can see these lists over on DisneyFoodBlog.com. We've got the best of the fest posted for both of these festivals. So you can go check those out and see all the pictures there as well. As always, you guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so that you know when we put up a new video. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.